Uh, this week again uh, we'll see in some parts of the state the fires could still run. It's interesting we say that in the sense that it's going to be a lot cooler. Um, it, but we've already seen, uh, even yesterday, that we've had fires running um, in the afternoon and it was very cool conditions, but the winds were up. So I think that's people need to be a little bit conscious, but uh, don't, be, don't be over alarmed by fire this week, just be conscious of fire. And I think it's also time to revisit uh, your plans. Your plan is important. Um, kids back to school, people back to work, it's probably step back into the normal life. And uh, for that reason, it's a matter of uh, rethinking what you're doing. Uh, think about February, because we, we will still have very dry conditions through February. We'll still have uh, the potential of significant fires. And it is about um, revisiting um, what you will do if there's a fire and uh, what you do for your family. So, so don't drop the ball. Um, we've told all our people to, to take the rest um, and appreciate that it's cooler weather, but be very conscious that we could still could have fires in some parts of the day. The Boho fire in uh, northeastern Victoria has proved that over the weekend. Um, fairly, fairly cool conditions, but very difficult to control in very dry, very rough terrain, and it has proved to be really difficult to put out. So that's just one example of what we could have. Um, but just uh, stay attuned to the conditions, stay attuned to what it means for you. But I think the most important thing is get ready for February.